Carrie Underwood and Mike Fisher's marriage is basically a real-life fairy tale. Carrie Underwood and her husband Mike Fisher have been married nearly eight years. Carrie Underwood and Mike Fisher certainly look the part of a fairy tale romance. Whether they're walking the red carpet or sharing sweet family photos, the American Idol winner turned country superstar and her hockey-playing husband are adorable together. And after eight years of marriage and three years as parents to son Isaiah Michael Fisher, whom they call Izzy, they're still going strong. When a gossip magazine recently claimed the couple was breaking up, Mike dismissed the divorce rumors as false. We've never been better, he assured a concerned fan on Instagram. Both are very independent, making those stretches spent apart due to their careers bearable. Carrie's recent injuries have allowed a singer to focus on her family and creating new music, including her new single, which she'll perform at the 2018 ACM Awards. Here's everything you need to know about the couple's fairy tale love story. How Carrie met Mike Carrie wasn't looking for a long-distance relationship, let alone marriage, when a friend offered to set her up with a hunky Canadian athlete. I mean, can I make dating more difficult? Carrie recalled on VH1's Behind the Music. Let's get a hockey guy who lives in another country. Awesome. The singer's bassist, Mark Childers, wanted to introduce her to his friend, National Hockey League star Mike Fisher. Skeptical about a blind date with someone who lived so far away, Carrie lived in Franklin, Tennessee at the time, and fearful the encounter might be awkward, she suggested they meet backstage at one of her concerts. The casual meet and greet proved worthwhile, their physical chemistry was off the charts. Hot, 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 Carrie, 25 at the time, texted Childers after meeting Mike, 28. For the Ottawa Senators player's part, he thought Carrie was more beautiful in person than on TV, Mike said. Carrie and Mike's first date. It would be three months before they spoke in person again. Demanding careers and a physical distance of 1,070 miles kept them apart, but they talked on the phone regularly. Finally, on New Year's Eve 2008, the couple had their first official date. Our first kiss was when the ball dropped, said Carrie. We were in front of people, and he's not a big PDA guy, she told Glamour. I figured, I'll go in for it because he can't leave me hanging right? So I made him kiss me in public. The engagement. The coming year, 2009, proved to be one of whirlwind romance for the singer and hockey player. Starting with that kiss on the stroke of midnight, it closed out with a proposal of marriage. On December 20, 2009, on a quiet Sunday afternoon at his home, Mike popped the question. She said yes, of course, and the newly engaged couple texted friends and family with the good news. Mike even gushed about it to the media the next day, telling the Toronto Sun, It's true. We're both obviously excited and very happy. The pair had kept a low profile up until then, but in January 2010, they made their first public appearance together at a fundraising casino event in Gatineau, Canada. The night was a soft opening for Mike who would accompany his fiancée on the red carpet at several ceremonies in the coming months, including to the 2010 CMT Awards, where they shared a sexy victory kiss as Carrie got up to accept the award for video of the year, Carrie and Mike's wedding. The handsome couple tied a knot a month later, on July 10, at the Ritz-Carlton Resort on Lake Oconee, Georgia. Carrie's dad walked her down the aisle. They honeymooned in Tahiti the following week, where paparazzi captured them holding hands coming off the plane, frolicking in the water, and sunbathing on the patio of their thatched roof overwater suite. For the first six or seventh months of their marriage, the couple spent weeks apart from each other as their careers demanded they travel in different directions. Carrie needed to be based in Nashville, and Mike was still playing with the Ottawa Senators, the team he'd been drafted by 13 years earlier. We're both independent people, so we can have somebody around 24 hours a day, seven days a week, Carrie told Glamour in 2012. I don't have to worry about Mike, she continued, he's going out, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. I don't bat an eye. In February 2011, Mike was drafted by the Nashville Predators, a change that coincided with his move to Music City to be with his new wife. It was a decision he didn't take lightly. I was praying a few days before about moving teams. Mike said, I was just so frustrated and said God, if you have me go somewhere take care of it, look after it and he sure did that. He put me in a place I was comfortable with and I think that's part of reason that this is the place I'm supposed to be and that's comforting for sure. Carrie and Mike's son. Four years later, on February 27, 2015, Carrie and Mike welcomed their first child, a boy they named Isaiah Michael. The three-year-old now goes on tour with Carrie, along with the family's dogs, hanging out in her dressing room as she gets ready and FaceTiming with his dad every day. When she can, Carrie makes time for fun pit stops like Sesame Place. He is a very physical baby, Carrie told E! News. He loves to climb things, but he does love music, too. There are certain things you don't even realize he's picked up but he sometimes tunes in and will start singing along. The family broke ground on their dream home in 2016, inviting Oprah for a tour of the 400-acre property near Nashville and honoring her with a tree planting ceremony. 
Carrie and Mike celebrated their seven-year wedding anniversary last summer, and the couple seems as in love now as they were back then. My husband is as wonderful as he is hot, and I feel like that's rare, Carrie told E! News. He's amazing. She continued, he's such a great dad and he's so supportive of what I do and I'm supportive of him and we just love our little family. With such love and support all around, it's easy to understand why the country singer says she could have a few more kids with Mike. And to think she almost turned down a blind date with the guy.